Hi, good afternoon. My name is Alan Elfman. You're watching Market News Media. Well, I'm smiling so much it hurts, so what better way to tell you this story by the filmmaker Lee Story. How are you, Lee? I'm very good today. Thank you. Pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here at the Sedona Film Festival. How are you liking Sedona so far? Oh, I'm enjoying it. Can't help but be happy in the Red Rocks. Ta-da! I feel like Vanna White. Can I buy a vowel? You okay. can. Two. Oh. Actually, a few. Why if I buy two, I'll buy uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Now that's what you would say after you saw the film. Oh, Smile no, till it buy... hurts, huh? <laughs> well, why don't you tell us, the movie is called, actually, I'm sorry, the documentary. Yes. I want to enunciate it properly. Is called Smile Till It Hurts. And I've been in many situations where I've done that, whether it be married or facing family. But here, just give us a little bit more. I'm happy to, thank you. Smile till it hurts. Well, you know, it's that big smile, happy thing that people do. Smile Till It Hurts is a film about Up With People. And Up With People started in the 1960s. They were a youthful, happy, exuberant, positive youth group. And they were formed as a counter to the counterculture. And I traced their history. And it's just a blast because you go through a lot of uh, kitschy archival footage and it makes you laugh and smile and cry all at the same time. So everyone's walking around smiling even though it's they really don't feel it but that's what they have to do to put on that that that, that face if you will. Yes very much like uh, uh, puppets. Uh, kind of like a Stafford City? Uh, something like that. I just felt Stefford would be so close to use because don't you have somebody that would be relevant to that? Oh, we do, we do. Um, in the film we have never before seen archival footage of Glenn Close who was one of the um, uppies, as they call them, alumni of Up With People. Um, she was in the program for about eight, nine years and her family as well. And I um, had a blast going through all of that and putting it up on, on screen. Her and a bunch of other people who were involved in it from the beginning. Up With People um, has 20,000 alumni. They've sung to millions of people around the world. Most people will remember them um, either from their four Super Bowl halftime shows or um, when they were parodied on The Simpsons and South Park, David Letterman. Um, in fact, David Letterman, when he did his most recent interview of Glenn Close, called to ask for a screener of Smile Till It Hurts so that he could do some background research. But we didn't get a plug, so here we are. I'll make sure you got the plug. <laughs> Thank you. My Thank pleasure. you. So where can people see this where I mean when is it coming out when is everyone going to be able to smile until it hurts well right now we don't have any distribution so we are at film festivals and we have been for the past few months and we're getting great responses from the audiences because the film really is about uh, the optimism of youth it doesn't it critiques up with people but it doesn't um, obliterate them well, why don't you tell people what they're going to see, because after this interview, you're going to be able to see a trailer. So why don't you lead them into that? Uh, Since you can't see the documentary anywhere else. Well, one day you will be able to see it. It'll be broadcast, and it'll be at our worldwide. theaters. It will be worldwide, if not on the Internet, before too long. But um, what the, some of the interesting things, really, in, in the film is looking at how their agenda started within a, a very religious, uh, cult-like, uh, organization called Moral Rearmament and what that political and religious agenda did went up with people really was representing the sincere majority, a term for the silent majority, in the, uh, the American uh, melting pot when they were singing around the world. Um, I found it kind of interesting that a lot of the students who were in Up With People, they were there having a good time meeting people around the world, but they really did not know what the agenda of the organization was. So for me, as a full-time lawyer, this is my first film, my first documentary film. Um, I had FOIA requests and forensic science, uh, accountants looking at the organization and basically peeling back the layers. Um, so it was very interesting for me to find out about the funders and about their agenda when they started out, how that developed from being a mission to mainstream and then becoming a pop culture joke. So it's, it's, a, it's a 
it's quite a ride. See, and you can smile, and it's not even hurting. Just talking right, about yeah, it. Yeah, it is. A, it's a fun film, but it's a thoughtful and and and. Uh, it makes you go. Mm -hmm. it, it does make you go. <laughs> it does. Well, this is Lee's story, and the documentary is called "Smile Till It Hurts." And I want to thank you very much again. Thank you very much. It's a very, very. It's a. Can I? You know what? I need speechless. To say thank you. <laughs> speechless. That's the effect. I, I think it's the hair. Hey, where's your business card? Come on now. Oh, I'm not giving her a business card now. Media. Oh, my God. News, I'm dying. magic. Move, move, move. Okay, hold on. <laughs> here, here, here. Ready? Uh, hold on. All right, ready? here we hold go. On. Here we go. And it was really nice having you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you're watching this on Media Market News. Oh, my God. Let's try Thank again. You. And you know, that's for the dyslexic kind of people. <laughs> Think of M cubed or M squared <laughs> with an N if you're counting. That's right. too much information. Come on. Market <laughs> news. Market me news media. Okay, ready? Okay, here we, we go. Got deja vu and amnesia at the same time. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, here, here, let me tell you something. You can find Smile Till It Hurts at www.smiletillithurts.com, right? www. SmileTillItHurts.com And you don't even need the W's. Right. But if you go to MarketNewsMedia.com dot com, you will be surprised because that's where all the gems are. It will Way exceed your expectations like it already has mine. So smile yes. till it hurts. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. That was fun. Oh, just stay right there. I'm going to see if he wants to do it with a We were drugged with a passion to make a difference. We were on a mission. What if peace could happen? What if we could build a beautiful city on a hill? We want to right what is wrong in the world through a moral revolution. We walk through doors that your average singing group never gets through. I stayed in the home of Francois Mitterrand. Bob Hope. Saint Poitier. Grace Kelly. Ronald Reagan. She came running out and said, President Eisenhower is on the phone for you. What the hell was up with people? A marvelous singing group who travel all over the world, spreading their own infectious idea of joy. They were radical moderates. Whoopee, you know, I'm singing, I'm for people, you know. Aren't, aren't you for people, too? If you control somebody with sex and money, you've got them. It's one of the fascinating things of the cults. You get a bunch of people who will do things and say things that the year before they wouldn't have even remotely dreamed of doing. We're very happy that the Up With People group would be with us. They had behind them the very powerful force of the American government. Follow the money. Where does the money come from? And why are they financing them with millions and millions of dollars? Some people felt that Up With People played a part in averting a third world war. I'd agree with that. I would agree with that statement.